Hi there friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you today's video from Jerusalem as per the usual. Um, I was going to bed last night and uh, briefly took out my tablet to watch a bit of YouTube and on my homepage there was this video released by the Israel police in Hebrew, Mishtarat Yisrael and they released basically interrogation footage that I thought was very, very interesting of Hamas uh, terrorists who were captured alive either on October 7th itself, the day of the horrific massacre uh, of civilians in Israel, or perhaps it was the next day, it's not clear. It's also not clear whether this interrogation was conducted by Israel police or by the Shin Bet, uh, which is the uh, Israeli internal security organization, the Shabak in Hebrew doesn't really matter. In any event, the interrogation up there was uh, basically in Hebrew, in Arabic with Hebrew subs. Um, the interrogations conducted in Arabic, the interrogator is speaking Arabic, the detainees uh, are speaking Arabic. Um, and uh, there was just loads of comments saying, you know, someone needs to add English subtitles because it's so important. This, this footage is so important to trying to understand the mindset of the people who committed these atrocities. So I logged on today to YouTube and I saw someone had uh, volunteered their efforts to add the English subs. That person's called Elan Sherman. So uh, just to be clear from copyright, this footage was released by Israel Police. The subtitles were added by Elan Sherman and I'm here to just add a little bit of commentary uh, to this uh, footage myself. So that's uh, basically all I'm doing here. I don't want to call this a reaction vid because uh, I think those reaction videos are super cheesy but I thought I'd just drop in with a few comments here and there as I play back this tape just to add a little bit of context. So I'm going to pop on my uh, headphones now and uh, let's go and watch this video from the top. So let's just jump over to the screen here. So these guys you're going to be seeing are the, the guys sitting here are the Hamas people and uh, the guy off camera is the interrogator. And presumably this was done in something like an Israeli police station, I don't know. All right, let's play. أخ كنت أنا في حماس زمرة في القسام قال زمرة شو سبق الربع؟ so first comment here just to point out that the way the Israeli police released and structured this videotape is they uh, do it section by section of the interrogation from each detainee and at the start at the opening clip what we're seeing is them trying to just establish the particulars what's your name and which organization do you work from in Hamas uh, so this guy said he worked for Al Qassam which is basically uh, the Al Qassam Brigade is the paramilitary wing of Hamas. Hamas also has a kind of political wing, and the Al Qassam Brigade specifically is the organization which carried out the barbaric massacre on October 7th. You're going to see just in a second the guy ask whether they belong to Al Qassam or Al Nukba. Al Nukba is more like an elite special forces organization. Uh, within the Hamas. So uh, the point of this really is they're, they're trying to understand the chain of command uh, and who these each of these people belong to and who their commanders are because those are people that have been probably already killed or are on the kill list for Israel. <laughs> Mohammed <laughs> Okay, 
المسلمين والاطفال قبل الرجال يعني المدنيين الشباب possible of course that the uh, captives know that this footage is going to be released so they're trying to make themselves sound better because uh, it wasn't there is there you know there's been clear evidence that these guys raped women so uh, you know what this guy's saying perhaps this really was the order he his uh, team was given uh, that what it was to basically spare just capture capture the women and children and just basically mow down the men But that's not actually what transpired. Uh, so I just wanted to make note of that. So that's again just pretty pretty revealing that from the perspective of these jihadist and radical elements, you know, the guy asked him, were the instructions specifically to kill civilians or army people? And he said, it doesn't really matter. That's not a, that's not a difference we were sweating over because for these guys from their worldview, all Israeli citizens are legitimate military targets. That's their worldview. They want to liberate all of Israel from the Jews and whether the uh, the Jew has served in an IDF position, was a conscript, is a conscript, does not matter to them. I think that's very clear. Also, something else I just wanted to point out or drop in with an observation is when these guys were captured or uh, in Israel, some intelligence with Gazard about their preparedness. And it turns out they were very well prepared for this. They were training for this operation for about two years They had very detailed information regarding the actual layout of the kibbutzim we're going to hear mentioned. Um, and they had very detailed information about the IDF uh, that was basically obtained from reconnaissance. So you're seeing a bit of this as this video clip goes on, that these guys were well prepared for uh, for what they did. <laughs> I think one interesting thing here is that from these guys, the kind of killing seems to be just like an afterthought. They're so... Um, unquestioning of the idea that they would just mow down civilians that you know their their orders were to conquer this kibbutz and the guy's asking well what does that mean to conquer you just want to live there like what about the people in the houses and uh it's just kind of like an afterthought for these guys oh yeah we just like we're just just kill those people um very disturbing and uh heinous none of them seem to have um very much in the way of remorse <laughs> احنا كان داخلين ناخد اسره ونقعد في البيوت السلام يا بالبيت بقيت التقينا جمعنا عنده كلم ابو زيد ابو زيد قال له طهروا البيوت واخطفوا قد ما تقدروا اسره لانه another word where they're using here is cleanse you see this uh, sort of discourse in the jihadi palestinian extremism a lot to cleanse the land of jews and again that specific word cleansing is just to understand basically ethnic cleansing, right? That's what they were doing. Um, I think that's important revealing as well. Okay, this is super, super important. So um, each captured, for each captured civilian these guys were being compensated with ten thousand dollars in cash and an apartment you have to remember and understand that gaza or as it's pronounced in arabic gaza is a impoverished territory and ten thousand dollars and a house is huge so um again these guys are just saying well that's kind of the arrangement we had so basically they were incentivized now there's about more than 220 the last time i checked israeli prisoners in gaza Um, so, you know, that's basically, you're kind of trying to understand the motive of these guys. Is it coming, 
it'll sort of get clear in the video is it coming out of islamic extremism or is it coming out of simple desperation about their life in gaza and you know these guys might be barely able to afford food and these strong men from hamas come and tell them we're doing this operation capture capture an israeli ten thousand bucks if you take 10 hostages back to gaza uh, you get yourself an apartment and 100k in spending money. So that creates a very powerful incentive for people who may be in poverty. I'm not, I'm not justifying at all uh, the disgusting actions of them, but I'm just, just pointing out that their motives are, uh, they're ascertaining their motives at this point in the interrogation. <laughs> هدفهم من دخول اصلا انهم ياخذوا اسرى. شو المهمه تبعتك كانت؟ الاكتحام. اكتحام لوين؟ لفر عزه. شو تعملوا؟ نطهرها ونسيطر عليها. آه. شو يعني التطهير؟ نفضيها. من ايش؟ من الناس. تخطفوا ولا لا ايش؟ لا ما خطفناش احنا يعني ايش بس قتل؟ نفض الضوء وشو عمل؟ This guy is an when an, this particular detainee is interesting, he seems to be in a lot of emotional distress this guy here um i think what's interesting is that israel israel's police israel police's decision to um publish this interrogation basically puts these guys in a terrible position i think these guys would be dead men if they returned to gaza or um any arab country these guys would be hunted down as uh you know uh, for betraying hamas by revealing even these little morsels of information to the Israelis or to, or, or to the Jews as the Hamas tend to refer to us. So, you know, in the event of a prisoner exchange in which Israel receives hostages for Hamas people, uh, these guys, if they were included in that exchange, Hamas won't be asking for them. The only reason Hamas would be asking for them is because they're going to put a bullet in their head. So uh, these guys are, I think, talking not uh, because they've been tortured. There doesn't seem doesn't seem to be what's happening. These guys are up shit's creek. Excuse my language. They're um, either going to rot, rot away for the rest of their lives in an Israeli jail, or they're going to be released and killed by Hamas. So um, that would make you pretty distressed, I can imagine. <laughs> مصاب <تصفيق> العيلة هاي كذراع بشري اه إيه طيب احكي لي في ال... لما خطوا في كفر عزة شو عملتوا بالضبط انتوا اللي كانوا معك دخلنا اول دار And just to point out for all the people who say that Hamas doesn't use human shields, this is Israeli propaganda. Uh, we just had a guy admitting to doing exactly that during their operation. Not that I think there's any doubt for reasonable people that this happens, but uh, this guy um, is wearing a t-shirt just to point out the obvious that appears to be covered in blood uh, so whether again this interrogation was conducted immediately or the next day and he, he hasn't had a chance to change his clothes but uh, that looks like dried blood on his shirt طلع الكلب تبعها بالشارع طخيته وانا بعدها كان في واحد بالجنينة المدني هذا اللي اللي كتبته كان معه سلاح؟ لا لا كم طلقة ضربت عليه؟ من اثنين لثلاثة فوين الطلقة ضربته؟ على منطقة الصدى منطقة الصدى وبعد هيك؟ بعد كده قعدنا نلفلف بالدور في دارين اظن عملنا فيهم حريقة حرايق
احكي لي شو عملتوا في المستوطنه الغيري وكيف كنتوا تطهروا البيوت So they're just referring to, uh, just to fill in one, one small bit of context, Barry is one of the kibbutzim around the Gaza Strip. So there was Minativa Asra, Barry, Nachal Oz. So all these names are just referring to different kibbutzim uh, that are just right on the edge of the Gaza Strip where these guys uh, infiltrated and committed the massacre. I entered the right place, or I entered the right place. I saw two in the Fizbe. They were taking the woman from 60 to 65 years old. I entered the Fizbe. ماخذينها لوين؟ لغزة بعد ما قتلوا المستوطن الاثنين سليمان الكرم النخبة جابوا جابوا واحد تقريبا عمره Remember again just the Nukba is basically the kind of uh, elite more elite fight, fighting force or Qassam Brigade within Hamas is a bigger paramilitary group and the Al Nukba are kind of the elites if you will within their organization 40 ل 45 سنة زلمة يأكلون قمح شوي ومش طويل كثير أخذوا عماد أبو الحروج وضلوا طالع فيه. طالع فيه ولوين أخذوه؟ على غزة. وإحنا راجعين وراه كانوا طالعين من جوا بنت عمرها يمكن 16 سنة أو 15 سنة. شو عملتوا في البنت؟ هذه البنت وقفت صوروا معها سيلفي كان يقول له في كان يقول له طخوها وفي قال لا ما تطخوهاش خذوها سيرة وتصوروا معها في واحدة تصور معها سيلفي وركبها على الفيسبا في بيت قدموا عليه قدمنا عليه كلنا. اجى تبع الهندسه اللي هو تم على جنبه بنطرات ما اعرفش اسمه برضه ما اعرف شكله جاب عبوتين مسطره وعبوه بربشيه هو ايش حجر شباك فتح شباك نتفه صغيره جاب حديده صار يفتح الشباك في الحديده اللي هو صار يطلق عليهم من جوا so just again just to reemphasize this operation took two years to plan and these guys were firstly drugged drugged up that's just Sort of an important detail, they were on a drug called uh, fentanyl, I think, not fentanyl, theophylline and amphetamine, basically, you know, high as kites when they were doing this. I don't know these guys particularly, but uh, a lot of the Hamas fighters were found dead with supplies of, the, of these pills. Um, but so they were kind of high um, as they were committing this and they came really well prepared with all this different gear that this guy's talking about, like the bar and the detonation charges, and they knew how to use it. Um, so this wasn't really just a case of kind of these crazy ISIS-like characters coming with firing off randomly rounds and rounds and rounds from, um, you know, from machine guns. These guys actually came um, with a whole kind of kit uh, in order to kill as many civilians as possible and take them captive into Gaza. <laughs> طخينا على الشبابيك والابواب اه لا ومين طخيت هنا؟ طخيت مره كبيره هي كانت قباله ولا ايش في عندي؟ اه اه تفاجئت فيها طخينا وين الطلقه اللي طبت فيها؟ في في كتفها ايوه شو صار فيها؟ وقعت شو عملت كمان في الدور؟ ولعنا ضار كن ضرير ولعنا والدار اللي في جنبكم مين ولعها؟ محمد بصل انت قتلت كم واحد؟ واحده شو كمان قتلته؟ و محمد بصل قتل واحد مين الواحد هذا؟ كنت 40 42 سنه شو كان بيعمل؟ كان برش ميه كان معه سلاح الزلمه؟ لا 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 هو تفاجئ فيه مدني؟ So again just little insights here into into what this was like they basically caught the village by surprise this was at about the assault started at 6:30 in the morning so early Saturday morning on a Jewish holiday day, some Hat Torah here in Israel. And, uh, you know, as they say, they encountered people watering their plants, taking their dogs for a walk, just mundane activities in uh, in these little agricultural villages that just happened to be on the outskirts of uh, the Gaza Strip. Oh. <laughs> وفي طلقات في السدر من فوق طخيت عليها طلقه في ظهر كم طلقه في ظهر ربط عليهم طلقه واحد على وطلقه هذاك في الرجل اليمين بعد ما طخيت صار زعق علي سلام يقول ليش طخيت هذول عجوتك تضيع ايش طلقاتك عفوا طلقه زعل عليك عشان ضيعت الطلقات كان بدك شو كان بده تستعمل الطلقات ضد المدنيين اقتل بده يعني. سكروا الباب اللي جوا الغرفه حصنة بعدين لف صار طلع برا عماد ابو عبيده صار يقولوا في يهود هان في يهود ايش وكان الشباك مسكر حديد 
صار يقولوا له ما افتحوا اطلعوا افتحوا ما رضوا يوش كانوا خايفين جابوا عوهة مسطرة حطوها على الشباك وفجر الشباك فتح نتفة صغيرة صار يولعوا اجا واحد صار يولع قطع قماش بداخلها يقول انه من خنقوا من الدخنة البنت خافت وفتحت الشباك بعدين اجا واحد من الجنب حافظ شكله بس ما عرفش اسمه صار يزاعي كتلوا اطفالنا وكتلوا نسائنا وصار طخ عليهم قتلهم؟ اه اطلق عليهم يمكن عشر رصاصات بعدها على الطفلة وعا امها بنت يمكن اول كانت 18 سنة وكمان واحد وعشرين سنة وامها وابوها اربعة وكلب صغير والكلب قتلهم؟ اه كم طلقة؟ مش عارف يعني كل واحد يمكن طخ هذاك طخ يمكن عشر طلقات الاول تانيين كل واحد طخ طلقتين ثلاثة زي الصبية كانت مسلحة كان معهم أسلحة يدافعوا عن حالهم؟ لا ما أطلقوش نار بالنار بس هذاك أجا هيك وقف صار يطق هيك هيك بشكل صار يرش اه بشكل همج وهذا هيك هذا هذا في القرآن هيك بقول الإسلام؟ لا حسب okay. الدين الإسلام This is we're in the last section of the video now And just an interesting thing, so he, the interrogator is, I don't know exactly why they asked this question, but maybe it's to ascertain motives. So they asked each of the guys, so according to the Quran, according to Islam, is this legitimate? And I, as far as I remember, when I watched it last night in the Hebrew version, Hebrew subtitle version, I think they all were very quick. You'll see it now again happen to say no. So they're, they realize what I find really interesting is that these guys seem to realize that their actions were not justified according to their religion. And yet they still did it. But no one in the interrogation room stands up and says, yes, this was um, this was the reason we did this. So watch, 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 this, uh, watch these clips. I'm going to just ro- roll back a tiny bit. لا خليني افهم هذه التصرفات انت ما بتشوفها يعني مش زي داعش هيك قتل المدنيين عشوائيا صحيح صحيح الدين منع عن يعني النبي قال لا تقتلوا امراه لا 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 تقتلوا طفلا لا تعقروا امراه لا زي فاهم علي الدين ما بحث على التشويه والتمكين وال يعني حسب ما العمل اللي صار وانت ما شفت ايش الفرق بين بين هذا العمل اللي بين عمل داعش ما في فرق بين التنكيل بحث م- طب حسب الاسلام هيك تفوت وتقتل ناس ويقتلوا اطفال و... لا لا مش من الاسلام قتل اطفال طب شو ليش شو الاسلام دين الاسلام يقبل هيك ابدا قلت لك انا لا تقطع شجرة يعني يحيى في اسمين في العالم عملوا اللي انتم عملتوه داعش حماس مسموح انك تقتل مره هيك ايش القتل هذا كله شو بيصير مضحوك علينا احنا منهم مغرر فينا ومضحوك علينا منهم من مين مضحوك عليكم انت عين حماس شو هم قاعدين في الدور وسايبيننا هنا وسابونا جوا يعني هيك بتفكر انت اه هيك بفكر يعني هم اللي في قطر واللي في تركيا وبيحكي باسم الاقصى والمسلمين وقاعد غاد وبعت لنا هنا مين هذول اللي في موجودين في قطر؟ Again, this is very, very interesting that these. I don't want to say they feel a sense of um, shame because I feel like that's giving these guys too much credit, but they do feel um, to an extent. Um, this is again the first self awareness we've seen in the video. They seem angry. That they've been used as pawns by the Hamas leaders who are in, uh, as they say, sitting in comfort in Turkey. And they use this term, they left us on the outside or on the inside, meaning in Israel, and they, they're on the outside in these kind of safe other countries. <laughs> هيك هذا هم غاد وهي برضو أهلينا بغزة يعني قاعدين بنقصفه القيادة سبتنا مين الأشخاص بتقول حماس مين بتقول حماس كلها حماس لكن مين روس حماس مين روس حماس السنوار هنية أبو خالد هم دول روس 
مدة بتكون هذول دمروا دمروا غزة. في ايش دمروا غزة؟ في كل هاي انت شايف ضايل غزة؟ لا. ضايل غزة؟ لا. دمرت يعني غزة. مين اللي دمرها؟ بايديهم وبايدينا دمرنا غزة. Well, uh, that is the end of the video. Um, As so often at times. Pretty disturbing stuff. Um, but I hope that um, my reaction or commentary has been interesting and maybe shed a little bit of light or helped people understand the significance of this tape released by Israel police and possibly in coming days there will be more uh, releases as well. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And if you do want to get more videos from me uh, regarding the situation here in, uh, in Israel, and uh, more generally life in Israel, then please do consider subscribing, as I always say at the end of my videos, to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.